Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading uh, for a Virgo. How are you guys, Virgo? Hope all's well. Let's see what's happening with you. Virgo, the energies. Does Virgo need to know? So I do see a wisdom, learning, art, joy, uh, and music. So you may be learning something new. Okay, you may be gaining some wisdom and knowledge. Beautiful. Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? So I see friendship, support, fun, unity, play. So some of you are ready to just go out and have some fun. I see, like I say, music, art, learning something new. Something's bringing you a lot of joy here. So I do see some, there could be some support or friends in this. You may be connecting with someone. I just see, see having fun, playing, enjoying yourself. And I can see stability and standing firm. So I feel like you're standing firm. I feel here you're finding your inner balance. This is really good. This could be spirit guiding you to learn something new, to find more joy in your life. And I do see friendship. I see gathering with people, having a good time. I see this energy of, of this balance and firm and this stability. So this is really nice beautiful energy here yeah so i see power over difficulty so some of you reclaiming your power over a difficult period you're standing firm okay this could have to do with people around you friends okay but i feel like there's an energy of beautiful balance here yeah see i feel like you've got this power over a difficult time and i do feel like you're reclaiming that so that's nice I see going with the flow, letting go, clearing, cleansing. So some of you have gone through healing. There's been a little bit of a block. You've been kind of protecting yourself. A little bit of an emotional block. So I feel like you're letting go of something here. This could be letting go of control or people who are controlling or try to demand too much from you. Uh, you may be just cleansing and healing, but you're, it's about being open to receive, learning to go with the flow. So I feel there's some emotions that could be starting to flow here. One more for Virgo. And I see sensuality, feminine wisdom and passion. Yeah. So I see Virgo. I see a very sensuous and uh, beautiful feminine energy. It's telling you to trust your inner knowing. So I feel like it's just an energy of you've been in protective mode. You've reclaimed your power. So whatever it is you're letting go of, I feel like it's opening you up to more sensuality. You're using your feminine energy. I see a lot of passion here beautiful and i do see things that you're passionate about too create creativity art learning something and i do see more joy coming into your life so this is really nice let's have a look at this wisdom it's telling you to trust your inner wisdom your inner knowing okay there could be something you already know how to do now you may be actually sharing that with other people too yeah being supportive let's have a look at the wisdom why is this here yeah, so this is an energy of taking a leap of faith. You're you're reflecting on something maybe you used to do that used to have a lot of fun doing. You might revisit that, but I see going down a new path here and learning new things. I see a lot of joy, playful, youthful energy. Yeah, I see a lot of work, putting a lot of work and effort into something. You're perfecting your craft and your skills. Beautiful. Yeah, I see friends and family connecting with people, just having more fun. Let's have a look at balance here. Why is this here for Virgo? Yeah, it's a nice reading for you. It feels just calm and relaxing. Let's have a look at balance. Why is balance here? Yeah, so I do see the King of Wands. So you may have been dealing with someone here. This could be yourself. I do see some Aries energy, Scorpio uh, Leo and Sagittarius. So I do see an energy of balance here. So you may be standing up to someone, reclaiming your power from someone who was kind of controlling. Okay. And it could be yourself just letting go with that control energy. Yeah. You're taking back your power here. But you're letting go though. Like I say, yeah, I see the birth of something new. I feel like you're open to something new here. You're just kind of going with the flow. You're, whatever it is you're letting go of, you're letting it go to be open to new. Look at that beautiful, sexy and sensuous energy here. Yeah, you're definitely, there's definitely a feeling of love and passion. Yeah, I see it, a lot of strength. See, taming the beast. <laughs> yeah, this is where you're feeling very confident. 
I see a lot of kindness, compassion here too. Beautiful. This is where I feel like you're in that energy. You're forgiving something. You're just letting it go. And you're not taking any any baggage with you here. But I love this energy. <laughs> Taming the beast within yourself. Yeah. I feel, oh yeah, you've got love coming in. I see sexy and sensuous energy. I see the lovers bonding, uh, connecting. So you're connecting on another level here. So I feel some of you have left something behind. And I do see you... Uh, you know, gathering with people, uh, perfecting your craft and your skills. You're putting a lot of effort into something, you see. But some of you, too, you've put a lot of work into something. And you may be finding people aren't very as supportive as you'd like them to be. But I feel like you are supporting other people. I feel like you're working very hard here. Yeah, I feel like you got some skills here and you're perfecting them. Now, who is this King of Wands? Who is the King of Wands? Who is this? Who is this person? Yeah, Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody's coming in to ask you out. Yeah, but I do feel if this is somebody here who maybe didn't put a lot of effort into something, uh, they could now. So it could be this person coming in. I'm seeing Gemini, Leo, Aries, uh, Sag, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. But we see this feminine energy of the Empress. This is the start of something new. I feel like you're open to something new. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. So it's an energy of just, like I say, living in the moment, having a good time, really enjoying yourself. You see the Nine of Cups. Yeah, there's something here. I feel like you're getting some kind of wish fulfillment, but I feel like you're leaving something behind because you didn't get something you wanted. You weren't fulfilled completely. So this is where, and you could have someone here who, like I say, maybe came in. They might have been a little full of themselves. This is somebody who probably wanted you to do all the work. <laughs> yeah. Like I say, it's when you understand something isn't working. And that's why I feel you're leaving it behind. Yeah. Because you, you weren't completely fulfilled at something here. You see? But you're about to get your wish granted. Something you want. So beautiful. Yeah. You've got a cup coming in. Offer an opportunity. I see. This is beautiful. It's a love letter, a communication. Look at that beautiful. There's a pearl in that clamshell. It's an energy of opening up your heart. I feel like you're open to this new, but you're letting go of something. Okay. Yeah. You're letting go. You're leaving something behind here. Somebody or something. Yeah. And I see the three of pentacles. So it has to do with cooperation, compromise, compatibility. I see a lot of creative energy. It's an energy of connecting with someone, acknowledging the things you have in common. Um, you know, the skills, it could be music, art, whatever it is. You know, something that makes you compatible. So somebody here, I feel like you're looking at, you're not compatible. That's what you're leaving behind. But this reflecting on the past often has a lot to do with things that you never did before. Uh, or you know of, but you never completed them. So you're, you may be trying something again and feeling more confident about it. But there's definitely love in the mix. And it's also sometimes just choosing something you love to do. So let's have a look at the Empress. The Empress is always, it's a very feminine energy. The Empress is very creative. This is someone who has a lot of creative energy, a lot of abundance here. So... So nice, yeah. A lot of strength and confidence, yeah. I feel like you're you've connecting with somebody here. You're uh, going to have a conversation. I feel like you're going to talk about all the things you have in common. This is lovely. This is an energy of strength and confidence, but it's very calm. You see, you're just going with the flow. It's all about going with the flow. It's about giving and receiving. Mm-hmm. You're about to receive something, <laughs> something you've always wanted, someone who's compatible, someone who's willing to cooperate and compromise. This is two people who build each other up. They lift each other up. So really nice. You've got a, this is, this could be a friendship. There could be someone who's a friend who wants something more. Someone around you may want something more. Maybe it's yourself or this other person, but there's a strong connection here. Oh, yeah. You can see someone here. The King of Swords, a little Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is an energy of someone who feels confident about a choice they're about to make. They're analyzing the situation. They're seeing truth. Someone's coming in to tell you the truth. Now, it could be this person's cutting someone out. It's possible they're cutting something out or somebody out. Okay. But I feel you're going to get some truth. Strong Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Beautiful. 
Yeah, and I see the Queen of Wands. Now, this could be yourself or it's someone who's cutting somebody else out. Okay, could go that way. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who generally knows what they want and they go after it. So, like I say, it, it could be this person. I do see Aries, Leo, and Sag energies here. A lot of fire, a lot of passion. There's so much passion here. And I see someone who's very sexy and very charming. But like I see, this is sometimes the person who goes, you know, talk to the hand. I'm moving on to someone else. And it could be yourself just wanting more passion in your life. You know, somebody that you can really bond and connect with. Yeah, wow. Somebody wants something more. Someone who wants something more than just friendship. Oh, yeah, they want that emotional fulfillment. I feel like you're about to get something you want. I feel like you're, you know, this is a, the, the Empress is, has all the energies of the Queen. So this is why for those of you who are um, um, the, the divine uh, feminine here, I feel like you want more than friendship. But I do see friendship first, where now somebody wants more. They're feeling all that, you know, very sexy kind of energy here. And if it isn't yourself, it's this person. <laughs> who wants more yeah we have someone who's single yeah look at that virgo someone who's single enjoying the fruits of their labor someone who takes care of themselves they're very calm i do see an energy of calm i see this energy of flowing somebody here their feelings are starting to flow i feel it yeah it's an energy of giving and receiving you're about to receive something here something that you want you're open to receive. That's the Empress. Open to receive. Someone who's available. They're single. I feel someone's going to reach out to you. They're probably just going to ask if you're single. Yeah. This is someone wanting love. But some of you already have someone here who's a friend. You've been doing things together. You know, hanging out. And you're finding that you've got a lot in common. And that's why I feel. It's the energy of wanting more than friendship. Let's have a look at the lovers. Let's have a look at the lovers. Oh, yeah. We have the Queen of Cups now. Look at that beautiful Empress energy. This is someone who it often can be very generous and kind and compassionate. But it's also someone who wants love. See, I feel like you're open to love. You want something more. You know, that's that divine feminine feeling, you know, very sexy. I feel like this is just gorgeous energy. Yeah, I feel like you've got love coming in. You're open to this offer. And it's probably someone else around you who wants something more. But it could be yourself in that too. Yeah, more than friends. Beautiful. Tell me, let's grab another deck here. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. Because this is often someone who leaves something behind because they didn't get what they wanted. And there may be another offer or opportunity. Some of you may have someone new coming in. You know, it's a you know a love letter, a communication. But somebody definitely wants more. Yeah, see, it's a little sad energy. Someone tempering their passions. An energy of being patient. Some of you may have been patient with someone. You know, you didn't get what you wanted. So this is why often what happens, someone's just ready to go down this path because there's a new opportunity. Mm -hmm. But you can see temperance. I do see a lot of chemistry. Yeah, it has to do with taking something to another level. Somebody wants to take things to the next level. <laughs> Ooh, some of you, when it comes to music, art, things that you're really having a lot of fun with, I feel like you're going to level up at that too. Okay, so this is a really positive energy surrounding you right now. Yeah, it's telling you to trust your intuition, your inner knowing. It's when you just know. Okay, you just know. You know when someone's right for you or they're not. Okay, but it's telling you to trust your intuition. The signs, the signals here. You may be, you know, it's a need for a little caution. Kind of looking at things a little different if you feel something is off. If you feel something is off with someone, you're going to look before you leap. If you've taken a risk before and didn't get what you wanted, okay, you're not going to let that happen again because you're going to pay attention to the signs, the signals. Okay, it's, it's, it, There's a need for caution, but like I say, it's about taking something to the next level. Yeah, It's an energy of someone putting in the effort. It takes two people to build. See, it's about building. See, perfecting the craft and skills. It's about building something here. Some of you do work a lot too. I do feel there's a need for balance. Uh, with work and play, finding a way to balance that out. Beautiful. Yeah, you're manifesting. I do see communication, two people talking. You're manifesting each other, but it's telling you, 
Pay attention to the signs and the signals if something feels off. Now, it could be someone who's just looking at you different suddenly where they suddenly want to take this to the next level. And it could very well be you. Mm -hmm. But some of you definitely, like I say, you've been patiently waiting. You're not getting what you want from someone. So as I say, you may be going down a new path. You're choosing. You're making a choice here to maybe choose another person. Or it's somebody around you doing that. Yeah, let's have a look at the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, a cycle ending, a new cycle beginning. I don't think you're going to be single much longer, especially if you've had something on and off and you've been patient, waiting to take it to the next level. It's not happening. So it's saying to trust your intuition. If it feels off, it's probably off. Okay? If it feels right, it probably is. Something's feeling right. It's going in your favor. <laughs> the, the the wheel of fortune is very very positive right now yeah someone wants to ask you out now this person's not quite at your level so i do feel there's a little need for patience but someone's going to ask you out yeah i see dating and courting you're open to this the empress is always open to go out on a date to connect you know, I see having some fun. Definitely you're open to having a good time. But you're looking before you leap. Because I feel like you're looking at this. If it Something here is telling you to be a little cautious. Okay? Yeah. Tell me more about that high priestess. Yeah, you got somebody coming in asking you out. There's no doubt. Yeah, see? This is being open to the gifts you're about to receive. But it's also an energy of releasing things that no longer serve. Know your worth and value. So I do see respect and self-respect. But there's something you really want. I feel you're about to get something you want. <laughs> you're letting th somebody go. I feel some of you are letting someone go. Because the situation no longer serves. Because you're sitting on the fence. And now you have this... Uh, new opportunity mm -hmm. you're just going down a new path i feel and you are living in the moment a little but it's saying to be a little cautious do look before you leap okay trust how you feel your body if it feels right if there's chemistry or not too with this other person someone definitely wants to get up close and personal i can see it tell me about this knight of cups what does this person want yeah uh, they're focused on the passion. They want to get you alone. They're thinking about your body, about getting close to you, okay? But they're still in dating mode, okay? This is someone still kind of exploring their feelings. So just be a little cautious how this person communicates. Something's going to feel off what they say. And I do feel some of you, there's a situation that no longer serves. And I do feel like you have someone else asking you out. But it's an energy of passion, there's some sort of spark. You've got someone coming in. There's going to be a spark. And again, you're going to have to be patient. So basically, it's an energy of making this choice, a life path choice and decision, the path that you were on and, the, and where you're going. So you know your worth and value here. So this is where you're reaching for the stars, your hopes and dreams. <laughs> yeah, you're seeing that you're going to go, aha, and see the truth. The situation no longer serves. Yeah, you're manifesting something new. You have everything you need. The Empress has mastered all the elements of the Queen. So you have everything you need to, you know, um, to for this windfall of abundance. I feel the timing is right. Uh, if you've had an on and off with someone, that's where it's like, you know, it's time to push the stop button and get off that emotional roller coaster. But yeah, just be a little, like I say, a little cautious. There's a spark here. There's definitely a spark. Passion is being ignited. I feel like you're interested. Yeah, you have an emperor coming in. Some of you have an emperor here. We have an emperor and an empress. So this is, a, this is something that could go to that next level. But it's possible, too, you have someone who's still in courting mode. You know, they just kind of come around and they, they're focused on the passion. Now, this emperor is somebody here who's taking control. This is someone taking control. They're taking the lead. Okay yeah this could go somewhere but like i say you're putting you're you're putting on the brakes with one person because you have this other opportunity and this is somebody here who's uh, definitely i feel more on the same page the more the the um you know it's like there's some things that you have in common um, whether it's people friends family you just it's an energy of just fitting in so this is such a lovely, yeah, you're going to just fit in with someone. This person, they like what they see. So yeah, I feel they're going to ask you out. And this could 
definitely go to the next level. This is person's confident. They're determined this is successful. But this is where I feel like you put on the brakes with this other person because this opportunity, it's just beautiful. It's a fresh new start, but I, I do see, you know, um, you being open to receive this cup because you want love. You want real love, okay? You want someone who's emotionally available. Yeah, you've got love coming in. Somebody with a little cancer in their chart, they're very open emotionally. They've dug deep into their emotion. They've, they're emotionally mature. They're very fiery. They're very passionate, there you are. Yeah, you're looking at this. You know, you know a good thing when you see it. And I do feel like you're looking at this other person who's just not um, leveling up, put it that way. They focus more on the physical, where this other person focuses on the emotional. They're very, they're, they focus on both. They're balanced. So you're going to look at this. You're going to look at all the details of the situation. There's someone here you no longer see a future with. Okay, if it's been on and off or whatever it is that's happened and you're going to push the stop button, things are now starting to go in your favor. Someone sees you in a favorable light. They adore you. Okay, so this is lovely. And I think you're going to adore this person. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're leaving something behind here and you're ready to move on. Yeah, you're open to this. It's the start of something new. You're open to the new. So there it is. You got new coming in. I feel this is beautiful energy. Yeah, it's energy of having fun, wanting to have fun, getting out, socializing. I feel like you fit with this person, but I feel this other person, like I say, it's just you've been patient, patiently waiting, tempering your passions, your emotions, being calm, and it's nothing's happening. It's not going to the next level. So... Let me grab some Moonology cards and see some hidden messages here. Oop, there's a couple of cards hiding in here. I'll just move those. They're not part of this deck. There's one more. Okay. All right, Virgo, what is it you need to know? Unleash your kindest self. So there's a Capricorn energy here. If you're a masculine, you've got someone with Capricorn in their chart, but they're definitely an empress. Um, but again, if you're feminine, it could be the same way. So it's someone being kind, compassionate, unleashing their kindest self. Ooh, very nice. This is that energy of kind of opening up. Yeah, someone's reflecting on their priorities. So it is an energy of balance, balancing out their priorities. But it's the priorities in the connection. It has to do with focusing on work, focusing on your love life, and finding the balance between the two. Okay, yeah. I say focus on the positive. A lot of people are getting this. It's saying to think positive, to go into this with positive thoughts. Believe in your good luck. So there's some good luck here. I feel like you're. it's going to be like you're going to pull back. It's too good to be true um, kind of energy. But there's a lot of good luck here. Somebody has a little Sag in their chart, maybe Aries or Leo. I mean, it's an Emperor energy. Emperor can be anyone. I see Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. So beautiful. Yeah, there was that... Um, the Moon and Cancer. So I do see some sort of... It's telling you to just relax. Okay, I do see something relaxing, being relaxed, being able to be yourself, feeling very comfortable with someone. And that's what I feel like you want. Someone you can just be comfortable with. You can just be you. But I do see you needing to balance out your love life and your work. Because the Empress is always very balanced. So there's something... I feel this is something that kind of started to come about with all these emotions uh, to do with that cancer um, moon and cancer we had here so it's just talking about relaxation and being calm okay yeah i think you're going to have a good time with someone here yeah i see somebody coming in very humble so it's an energy of being humble so this is lovely this is what you want it's an energy of someone who's humble they're mature they're emotionally available they want love they want to connect yeah, it's an energy of someone honoring their feelings. We always have to remember you know, people to honor how we feel, okay? Because there's always two people's perspectives. So this is somebody honorable. They're honoring your feelings, how you feel. How You may just want to be friends first for a bit, but it's definitely an energy of someone who wants to be more than friends. 
Yeah, they definitely want to be more than friends, <laughs> but they will honor your feelings, whatever, however it is you want to do this, however fast or slow you want to do this, because I do feel balance. Okay, you're looking for this balance, the common energy, because uh, I do feel you have a lot going on. You've got creative pursuits, things like that, that you're working on. So, but this is the start of something new. It's telling you to trust your intuition, your inner knowing. Pay attention to the signs and the signals and how you feel, okay? If you feel the same as this person. But someone here, if you just want to be friends first, this person wants more, but they'll do things the way you do, however fast or slow you want it to be, okay? Take care and we'll see you soon.